Okay, so the next thing I want to do is tidy up this table. I had created this table in a separate Word file and then inserted it in here. Um, so you can see that it's got the wrong uh, caption on it. It's listed as table four when it should be table one. And likewise, I've just typed in this caption. I haven't used the Word tool to insert a caption. So if I put in a second table above it, this number wouldn't automatically update and I want to change that. So again, I'm happy enough with the text I've used in the caption. So I'm going to copy that. And then I'm going to put this time I'm going to put my cursor on top of the table because unlike figures where the caption goes at the bottom traditionally in tables the caption goes at the top so t for table t for top so insert caption and this time I don't want it to be a figure I want it to be a table so it switches to table one I'm going to paste my text in there because I'm happy with that and then I'm going to click ok and it inserts my table caption in there so now I can get rid of the one I typed and that leaves me with the one that Word has done so that again if we were to put another table and this would need to change a table too it would do that itself I wouldn't have to go back and manually do it okay um in terms of putting a, a cross reference in here if I've referred to tube sizes in the text I would insert a cross reference um to the table at that point however I haven't I've just left the table there as a, a self-explanatory um part of the document so I'm not going to add a cross reference in this case okay the other thing to check is that you can see here um the way this is formatted that I've got kind of abandoned tubes over here on the right hand side so if I look at this table how it's currently uh, formatted you can see justification of the text is turned on that pushes all the text into an even column down the right hand side some people like to look at that but it can make the text a bit harder to read so I'm going to switch it to left aligned and you can see now that the text has popped back here and yes that's easier looking through the document likewise premature folds pony folds what i'm going to do is i'm going to make all this document left aligned and i'm going to put it change that from uh, premature folds and pony folds with a capital p to a small p and put a comma in there so now it's just a little bit more appealing to read likewise i'm going to select the whole document now and I'm going to change it from being justified to being left aligned. So you can see I now have this ragged line down the right hand column. Some people um, don't like that. Again, it's personal preference, but there is evidence to show that for people with dyslexia, for example, it's easier to read paragraphs that are left aligned because you don't get if I turn the if I turn this back on again for a minute, if I get if I justify it again, you get what are called um, white rivers. So you get these kind of lines running down through the work that can make it harder to, to read. So I'm going to leave the whole document as left aligned. I'm going to save that. OK, um, now that will also say left left align your images. If you prefer to have your images in the middle, that's fine. You can put them back on. I'm going to leave them left aligned in this case. Again, it's personal preference. It's, it's your document. Make it look how you like it to look. Just be consistent throughout it. OK, so that's an example of how to um, put in a, a table caption and tidy the table up to make it as legible as possible. OK.